In this video, I am going to tell you what is radio and what is radio communication. So let's start step by step. Step number one, what is radio? My dears, radio is the technology of signaling and communicating using radio waves. Radio waves are electromagnetic waves of frequency between 30 hertz and 300 gigahertz. They are generated by an electronic device called a transmitter connected to an antenna which radiates the waves and received by another antenna connected to a radio receiver. Radio is very widely used in modern technology in radio communication, radar, radio, navigation, remote control, remote sensing, and other applications. In radio communication, used in radio and television broadcasting, cell phones, two-way radios, wireless networking, and satellite communication among numerous other uses, Radio waves are used to carry information across space from a transmitter to a receiver by modulating the radio signal, impression and information signal on the radio wave by varying some aspects of the wave in the transmitter. In radar used to locate and track objects like aircraft, ships, spacecraft and missiles, a beam of radio waves emitted by a radar transmitter reflects off the target object and the reflected waves reveal the object's location. In radio navigation systems such as GPS and VOR, a mobile receiver accepts radio signals from navigational radio because whose position is known and by precisely measuring the arrival time of the radio waves, the receiver can calculate its position on Earth. In wireless radio remote control devices like drones, garage door openers, and keyless entry systems, radio signals transmitted from a controller device control the actions of a remote device. Applications of radio waves which do not involve transmitting the waves significant distances such as RF heating used in industrial processes and microwave ovens and medical uses such as diathermy and MRI machines are not usually called radio. The noun radio is also used to mean a broadcast radio receiver. Radio waves were first identified and studied by German physicist Heinrich Hertz in 1886. The first practical radio transmitters and receivers were developed around 1894 to 1895 by Italian Guglielmo Marconi and radio began to be used commercially around 1900. To prevent interference between users, the emission of radio waves is regulated by a law coordinated by an international body called the International Telecommunications Union, ITU, which allocates frequency bands in the radio spectrum for different uses. Step number two, what is radio communication? My dears, in radio communication systems, information is carried across space using radio waves at the sending end the information to be sent is converted by some type of transducer to a time varying electrical signal called the modulation signal. The modulation signal may be an audio signal representing sound from a microphone, a video signal representing moving images from a video camera, or a digital signal consisting of a sequence of bits representing binary data from a computer. The modulation signal is applied to a radio transmitter. In the transmitter, an electronic oscillator generates an alternating current oscillating at a radio frequency called the carrier wave because it serves to carry the information through the air. The information signal is used to modulate the carrier varying some aspect of the carrier wave, impressing the information on the carrier. Different radio systems use different modulation methods. AM, amplitude modulation. In an AM transmitter, the amplitude of the radio carrier wave is varied by the modulation signal. FM, 
frequency modulation in an FM transmitter, the frequency of the radio carrier wave is varied by the modulation signal. FSK, frequency shift king, used in wireless digital devices to transmit digital signals. The frequency of the carrier wave is shifted periodically between two frequencies that represent the two binary digits zero and one to transmit a sequence of bits ofdm orthogonal frequency division multiplexing a family of complicated digital modulation methods very widely used in high bandwidth systems such as wi-fi networks cell phones digital television broadcasting and digital audio broadcasting to transmit digital data using a minimum of radio spectrum bandwidth it has higher spectral efficiency and more resistance to fade than AM or FM in OFTM, multiple radio carrier waves closely spaced in frequency are transmitted within the radio channel, with each carrier modulated with bits from the incoming bit stream, so multiple bits are being sent simultaneously in parallel. At the receiver, the carriers are demodulated and the bits are combined in the proper order into one bit stream. Many other types of modulation are also used. In some types, a carrier wave is not transmitted, but just one or both modulation sidebands. The modulated carrier is amplified in the transmitter and applied to a transmitting antenna, which radiates the energy as radio waves. The radio waves carry the information to the receiver location. At the receiver, the radio wave induces a tiny oscillating voltage in the receiving antenna, which is a weaker replica of the current in the transmitting antenna. This voltage is applied to the radio receiver, which amplifies the weak radio signals, so it's stronger than demodulates. It's extracting the original modulation signal from the modulated carrier wave. The modulation signal is converted by a transducer back to a human usable form, and audio signal is converted to sound waves by a loudspeaker or earphones. A video signal is converted to images by a display, while a digital signal signal is applied to a computer or microprocessor which interacts with human users. The radio waves from many transmitters pass through the air simultaneously without interfering with each other because each transmitter's radio waves oscillate at a different rate. In other words, each transmitter has a different frequency measured in kilohertz, megahertz or gigahertz. The receiving antenna typically picks up the radio signals of many transmitters. The receiver uses tuned circuits to select the radio signal desired out of all signals picked up by the antenna and reject the others. A tuned circuit, also called resonant circuit or tank circuit, acts like a resonator similarly to a tuning fork. It has a natural resonant frequency at which it oscillates. The resonant frequency of the receiver's tuned circuit is adjusted by the user to the frequency of the desired radio station. This is called tuning. The oscillating radio signal from the desired station causes the tuned circuit to resonate, oscillate in sympathy, and it passes the signal on to the rest of the receiver. Radio signals at other frequencies are blocked by the tuned circuit and not passed on. So my dears, this was our video. Now I wanna turn it over to you. Have you liked the video? Then tell me in the comments. My dears, make sure to subscribe this channel so you don't miss out on my future videos because you know future videos will be awesome. Goodbye, stay blessed and bundle of thanks for watching.